Hi friends, in this video I will teach you how to transfer your website from one domain to another domain. If you are planning to move your website to a new domain, you can just try this method. It's very simple and fast and you can transfer all your data without losing any content easily without any plugins. That's the main point you can use and it's very fast and it's super easy. No headache, you can do it by yourself. Okay. So you can see all these plugins which we are using on this the current website and lot of plugins are using and including WooCommerce all data you can transfer to your new website. This is the new domain we are just trying to transfer all these data. Okay this website we are going to just transfer all these data. So just go to your website control panel and the file manager section of your current domain and you can go to the file manager and just download the WP content folder as you can see here just download it download as a zip file and it will take some time according to your website size it will take some time once the uh, file is downloaded you can just go to WP config and you can find your database username here as you can see on the video the database username so you can find the database username and then go to your my sql databases section then now open the my sql data section and you can enter the php my admin on the current database you can see the this is your php my admin select all the databases as you are seeing in the video then just click on export here and click on go option and you can see our database is downloading and once the database is downloaded you can go to your new website file manager this you install wordpress on the new domain so just go to your new domain file manager and there also you can go to the wp content section and on that folder just delete all the things on or all the folders on the new website WP content folder just delete all the, the files and now upload the WP content which you downloaded from the your old website just upload that and you can upload that zip file here and now extract it and you can give a name something like this and just click on unarchive and once the file is archived or it's unzipped you can just open that folder and move that all files to the main wp content folder just select all these files and just move into the main wp content folder as you are seeing in the video your new website wp content folder just move that all and click on move okay guys now if you want you can delete the old zip file and everything and the same method you can see the wp config just open and you can see your database so just select that database if you have lot of database you can try this method just you can see your database then go to the database section and you can enter into your php my admin and you can click on enter my php enter php my admin now you can just select all these tables as you are seeing in the video just delete it click on drop and click on s once you delete all these files or all these tables you can just import the database which you downloaded from your old website and click on go and now your database is going to import just click on go you can try this method for any of your website if you are trying to move it on a new domain Okay guys, once your database is imported, you can go to the WP options on the table section as you are seeing in the video. Just click on the WP options.
and here you can see the site URL just click on edit and here you can add your current or new domain here I'm just changing my subdomain name here you can add your own new domain name there and just copy that and you can paste it on the home section just copy that and click on go then again just go to the home table here and you can just change that also on the just paste it your new domain name there and click on go once you are done that now go come to your ht access section of your new website you can see here sometime it's a hidden file make sure it's like same as on the video the basic wpht access file you can access it from here i will give the link on the description box below and you can just delete all these things and just paste it there once you have done that you can come to your website and just refresh and you can see the changes all your website has been imported without any problem okay guys if you are feeling or if you have any problems just come uh, comment on the comment box below thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel